So I want to start off by just explaining a psychological vulnerability that we all have. Nothing to get defensive about because we all share it. It's inescapable. It's a vulnerability within our perception. And what that is, is inattentional blindness. The example I chose to use here, it's a very simple one, and it's because we can all experiment on ourselves and see how this works, and that's the nose. Now, if you take a moment to see your nose is clearly in front of your face and your eyes can actually see it, or your mind rather, can see it at all times, but it chooses to block it out. It eliminates it because it's not considered a priority. And if you want, like I said, you can quickly experiment on yourself, Consciously look at it, it's clearly in front of your face. And then if you look at something else, you'll notice it pretty much vanishes. That's inattentional blindness. Now the significance of this is if something is considered an unconscious priority, and when we tend to think of priorities, we might think about what we want them to be, but a fear could be a priority. Propaganda could be an unconscious priority. It takes precedent because maybe the media is always sharing it or something along those lines. And not only does the mind have the vulnerability to where we can actually eliminate something staring at us right in the face? If you notice, when your nose vanishes, when you look back at this presentation or you look at something else, you'll realize that not only does the nose vanish, but the mind actually plugs in what it thinks should be there instead. So when you're looking at this presentation, where your nose should be, your mind actually creates an image of what it thinks should be there instead, what it considers to be a bit more important. So in that way, it can create a very subtle illusion for us. And like I said, nothing to get defensive about. We all have this vulnerability. The mind has, it's incredible, it's really remarkable, but it has its limitations. It can process only so much information at one time. And it's just necessary to become aware of that. Now to further illustrate my point, I wanted to give another real world example that we can all test on ourselves. And that's this red dot with this blue circle around it. What I'd like you to do is just take a few seconds to try to block everything out and just focus on that red dot. Nothing else. Just for a few seconds. Now what you should begin to notice is that the blue circle that is surrounding the red dot, it begins to fade away into the background. That again, it, that's how inattentional blindness works, guys. And the significance of this, as it pertains to the society in which we live, is we have all kinds of forces that are constantly competing for our focus, for our perception. That could be the news, the media, fear-mongering. It could be we live in a consumer society. It could be different corporations trying to sell you something. There's many, many people, many, many individuals, many groups, many organizations that are all trying to compete for your focus. And those who have the biggest platform, which tend to be the billionaires and the trillionaires of this planet, they have a megaphone, a proverbial megaphone, that they can use to essentially induce inattentional blindness. And naturally, again, this is just a vulnerability within the way we perceive the world, all of us. A loud voice is louder than a soft voice. So if somebody screams loud enough, well, we're going to hear them over the people that are potentially just whispering the truth. So if there's a very loud propagandist screaming deception, and it's coming from all kinds of different figures, that can become the most pronounced reality reality that you are perceiving it and everything else can fade into the background. Cook caught funding scientists to deflect blame for obesity away from their sugary drinks. And the way they would do this is that they would focus almost entirely on exercise while trivializing how their sugary drinks and the unhealthy products contribute to obesity. So in other words, inattentional blindness, right? You hijack their focus, and in this way, then you can distract them and make them forget that your product is potentially causing problems. The same with the big tobacco companies where they funded scientists to focus on indoor air pollution as being the major health hazard rather than smoking cigarettes indoors. And this is clever because there is some truth to what they are spreading. Yes, it is true. Indoor air pollution is a major health risk. Just as if you don't exercise, that's also a health risk. 
But when you begin to trivialize and undermine how, you know, the tobacco companies, how smoking cigarettes is obviously dangerous for your health indoors, or how Coca-Cola sugary products are also dangerous for your health, and they undermine the role that um, their diet plays, then you are engaging in a skillful level of propaganda. So we just, we need to become wise to this kind of behavior.